In the world of slapstick comedy, one act stands head and shoulders above the rest, the Three Stooges. The most beloved lineup consisted of Mo Howard, Larry Fine, and Curly Howard, who was famous for his super short haircut that at times rendered him almost entirely bald. But Curly had a secret that most Three Stooges fans would be shocked to learn. He hated shaving his head for the role. Why? Well, to understand Curly's dislike of his own character's trademark look, it's helpful to understand why that look came about and how it helped launch the Three Stooges to superstardom. The Three Stooges were formed in the 1920s after Mo Howard, whose real name was Moses Horowitz, had been unable to find success in show business. He had tried performing everywhere, from burlesque houses to vaudeville theaters, where he even performed as part of a high diving act along with his friend Ted Healy. Healy later became a vaudeville comedian and hired Moe to be part of his show as a heckler planted in the audience, a role which was known in the industry as a stooge. The act expanded to include Larry Fine and Moe's brother Samuel Shemp Howard, among others. But when Shemp quit suddenly in 1932, Healy and Moe had to suddenly find a replacement, so Moe turned to his brother Jerome Curly Howard, who had his own successful career as a comedian and entertainer. There was one problem though, his hair. The Stooges had an established style where each member had a distinctive, goofy haircut. Mo, for instance, had his trademark bowl cut, while Larry wore a tangled halo of frizzy hair. Curly, on the other hand, had a thick head of brown hair and a handlebar mustache. Healy didn't think the look was funny enough, so Mo improvised on the spot. He took Curly out of the room and shaved off all of Curly's hair, as well as his mustache. It worked. Curly was hired, and the most famous and successful of the Three Stooges lineups was complete. But Curly wasn't actually a fan of the look. In fact, he reportedly hated shaving his head for the role. According to Fascinate, Curly was self-conscious about his trademark haircut and was concerned that it would make him appear unattractive to women. Still, the look worked, and the popularity of the Stooges soared, eventually landing them a massive movie deal with Columbia Pictures. According to the official Three Stooges website, the first short the trio did for Columbia was called Woman Haters, which was released in 1934. It was a hit. In fact, studio executives liked their early work enough to give them a seven-year contract that paid them $60,000 each year, almost $1.3 million today to split amongst the three of them. And Curly was the breakout star thanks to his signature array of wild antics and weird noises. Ultimately, the Stooges did a total of 97 shorts for Columbia from 1934 to 1946, and they didn't limit their performances to film. They continued to perform on stage as they did early in their careers and made a lot of money this way. They performed around their shooting schedule and sometimes averaged as many as 20 weeks per year dedicated to live shows. Thanks to their incredible fame and popularity though, Curly was forced to continue shaving his head for the rest of his professional life, and he struggled in his personal life. He was married four times. It's thought the frustrations in his personal life drove him to drink heavily. Worn down by the incredible workload and his personal issues, Curly suffered a massive stroke in 1946 that ended his career for good. Despite the loving care given to him by his brother Mo and his fourth wife Valerie, Curly died in 1952 at just 48 years old. Mo told Mike Douglas, Poor fella, and then he lingered and lingered. We tried to build his morale up and put him in the picture with us and so on, didn't work. With Curly gone, the Three Stooges brought back brother Shemp to replace him. When Shemp died in 1955, they brought in two more replacements, Joe Besser and Curly Joe Dorita, both of whom emulated Curly's shaved head. Still, despite their best efforts, neither could quite fill the role of the original legendary Curly, hair or no hair. <laughs> 